channel 48. My name is Buck. In the previous video, I showed you how to install uh, Nougat onto your Windows PC computer. And that was thanks to NDOS, I think still the very best emulator, uh, because it's also using a recent version of Android. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Android. But now, in a Linux system, we're going to use Linux Mint. I'm going to go for the 32-bit version because the 64-bit versions don't really uh, deal too good with this Dell computer, okay? Uh, for you, it's going to be different depending on your hardware. You know, it could be that Android will or probably will not run uh, on that computer. But if you installed Android uh, previously on your computer and it worked, or you run it from some USB and it worked, then you have a big chance that this will work. So what it's going to be? It's going to be a Linux uh, Mint distribution that I installed, clean install uh, to the computer. It's not even updated yet. I just installed it. And you will need to install Alien. And we're going to do that via the terminal screen. And then we're going to install Kimu, that while that is not really functioning here on this system, but it might work on your system. And then we're going to reboot. And then if everything goes good, we should have a little uh, menu where Android x86, the version that we're going to install. In my case, I'm going to install Linux OS uh, 14 onto, onto, onto this machine, CM14. Uh, on this machine so um, yeah let's get started and let me show you how that must be done all righty folks there we are in the linux desktop this is a freshly installed linux mint so yeah this thing is fresh fresh it's still warm it's still you know like warm breads from the bakery so what did i do I downloaded the Android version that I want to use. It's in my downloads. You see that? Here it is. Android x86 7.1.2 7.1 R2 iX86. And you know what? In fact, I failed. Uh, I I don't want this 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 thing because probably it's gonna bring me to to some uh to some page where i first must log into the internet before i can uh before i can even start with my uh with my android i will not even get in yeah it's true you know these these guys they build android versions this one i want cm14 i don't want no oreo if they have Lineage OS 15, that's what I want. But uh, none of these other new versions that come out. Because you know why? Um, in fact, they bring you to a page where you must then first connect to the internet. And then you can, you know, go to the next page. But if you have no internet and you want to just build an offline system, because... Probably with this hardware, <laughs> not much more will be possible. Um, yeah, I'm trying a CM version now. We were downloading uh, CM14. And in the meanwhile, uh, we're going to start with uh, preparing. So we're connected to the internet. Okay, we're going to open our terminal screen. Yeah, I'm going to maximize it. And in the terminal, we're going to type uh, sudo and then apt get. And then install, and we're gonna install Alien. And Alien is uh, is a package that will help to um, yeah to do whatever we're we're doing here. So uh, we're gonna install Alien. In fact, Alien is do is gonna do the complete installing for us, and we'll make sure that in the uh, in the group also information will be written so we can start up. Uh, whenever we turn on the computer, we will be able to choose for Android Nougat to, to, to boot up. And so we will be running it kind of natively, standalone on, 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 the, on the system. I think natively was not the right word, standalone. Okay, and I'm also going to install Kimu and we type sudo 
apt uh, get install and then q e m u okay um oh i wrote i wrote that wrong sorry for that sudo apt get install kmu kmu yes Also, advice is uh, to get yourself a nice cup of coffee. Don't spill it on your computer. Or tea or whatever. I can monitor the complete show on my, on my watch. Amazing. Okay, there we are. So we installed um, Alien and we installed Q. Now we're gonna give uh, the terminal the command to change the directory to docu uh, downloads. Here you can see we're in downloads and then we're gonna type sudo alien space apostrophe c c i space and then the name of uh, of the android version that we're gonna install and in this case it is cm i don't want that other i only want cm so we're gonna select the complete name it's nougat so I'm fine with it. And then we're gonna just give it a Roger D there. And this will stay uh, like this for at least five minutes. It takes kind of long to uh, to unpack and, and do the complete thing. So be patient. Go do some uh, push-ups or you could do the dishes real fast. You know, so you don't have to do them later. And then when you're gonna come back, the whole thing will be done. But I'm gonna, in fact, sit here and look at the screen. And you don't have to do that. I will pause the video, but the moment something really interesting happens and the process will continue, then I will do my best to uh, film that as well for you so you have a complete uh, documentation of this process. Because this is what we're doing. In fact, we're installing Android in Linux. That's why this is also called Lindroid. Okay. And if this all goes good and I um, manage to uh, to integrate uh, this all in in a distro, then of course I'm going to create the Lindroid uh, distribution that you can then download and also install so you don't have to go do all these things. Uh, so I will find a real easy way for you how you can get this as well. But it's very important, guys, really important, it's not for the Linux, but for the uh, for the Lineage OS, the Android, that your hardware is kind of supported because eh? you might run in troubles. You know, if there are no drivers for your Wi-Fi, then you won't have no Wi-Fi. OK, uh, and and probably then only the Ethernet will work. And there we go system is being extracted unpacking x86 14.11 it's now creating a folder in the in the on the root partition of uh, Linux mint and here you can see found no follow groom okay so effect if I run kimu uh, sudo sudo kemu and then android i get the error 
you see it's saying invalid sdl blah 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 so but i would never ever run android like this because that would make my computer feel bad you know it would work too hard and it would feel yeah not good so we're just gonna restart you hear it's already blowing it's too much for my baby you know she's she must be you know she must not work too hard so now we're gonna get into the menu and up here you're gonna see android it's in the boot menu and we're just gonna boot it up and we're gonna pray that it's gonna boot and that this hardware is friendly for this android version by cyanide and what and this is the next screen yes we passed this is fantastic this is fantastic you know I find it such a fantastic thing to see Linux OS booting up on my on my on my laptop. Look at that. Next, oh, this is a Linux OS. I'm gonna make a Linux OS T-shirt tomorrow. I love this company so much. Eh? Setup as new. Up here, you're gonna find that we can say skip. Don't use any network. This is Droid. And then we go next. And in the next step, you find out that the Google Play Store and Play Services are installed. So you have a Google Play Store built in and you can go ahead and set it up. And be assured that you will find applications to use. Um, I will use my own applications. I already have them on a USB stick because putting in a USB stick in the system will let you enter that USB stick and you will be able to use each and every app that you have on that USB stick. Fantastic. And there we are in the desktop. Well, that's all it takes to install uh, Linux OS in Linux Mint. And I can tell you, this is this is a different thing. Eh? This is not the same as if you're going to install it in some virtual box. Or you should have a whole lot of memory and a very strong processor. But if you're on an old dual core, just like this old laptop, then I think that this is the way to go. As you can see, Wi-Fi is installed. Uh, I'm using a little eminent uh, Wi-Fi stick. So, in fact, yeah... Um, I, I have support I can connect to my Wi-Fi and as you can see we're connected so guys yeah that's uh, that's all it takes and uh, I hope that this information was kind of useful if it was of course leave this video a thumbs up and let's go back to the studio well I really underestimated my my laptop for me now, time to go and play a bit with it and to root it and to use it as if I'm using a phone. And then I can make reviews as well in this great uh, system. So now I'm waiting for Lineage OS 15. God bless Lineage OS. God bless Lineage OS. They are the best. Me say they can't contest. They are the best. Lineage OS, you are the special request. In a Groningen and down in Amsterdam, Amsterdam. and even down there in Rotterdam, Linux OS, you are, you the, are best. the best. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. I did not like it. I I adored it. So I say bye bye and stay well. Be very nice to your friends and family, and uh, to the loop.